there, so this is the first in a series I'm going to put together for you of beginners Pilates workouts. So what I thought I'd do is I'd break them down into nice, easy 10 minute chunks so you can kind of learn each one and progress through them at your own pace. Now these are really, really good. You can do these at home. Um, also, if you're in the area and you wanted to come to a class of mine, this will give you a real taste of what it's like to be in a Pilates class and what sort of exercises we cover. Um, so you can work for you either way. And um, yeah, let's just get started and see what happens. So very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lie down and we're going to start with a little bit of technical talk uh, because I know a lot of people get confused when they first start Pilates about the position of the spine. So the spine, we call it neutral in Pilates. And basically what it means is if you look here at my pelvis, I'm in a nice relaxed state. Now, it might not be obvious to you if you're not used to looking at alignment, but what a lot of people do, especially if you work at a desk, you've got long hours at the office, people tend to be like this. You can see my back's pressing into the ground, and here my hip flexors, they're all switched on and they're quite tight. So what we do is we press the pelvis away so that these bones, these two hip bones and the pubic bone, they're all on the same line. And if you look here, you can see I've got a gap underneath here so i can put my hand under that's the shape of my spine so we're always trying to find the neutral position so the best way to do this on yourself at home is to get the heels of your hands and to put them on your hip bones like this and then the fingers down to your pubic bone okay and then you're just going to rock your pelvis back and forth until those three points are in line with each other so you feel like they're flat like a tray, so I could balance a cup of tea right here on my lower abdominals and it wouldn't spill. That's the idea, okay? So that is the neutral position. So that's where we always start our exercises from. So we're going to start with the very first one today. You're going to have your hands down by your side. And we're going to do what is called a pelvic tilt. So it's really, really simple. You're going to breathe in through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, you're going to pull the tummy muscles in and you're going to tilt your pelvis towards you. So you're really sinking in here, pulling the abs in. And as you can see, I'm pressing my back into the floor. So I'm giving a nice little stretch in my lower back. And then you're going to breathe in to go back to the neutral position. So let's try it again. We're going to breathe out to tilt. And then we're going to breathe in to come back to neutral. So you've got to make sure you don't do this. Yeah, we don't want to be arching our backs. Just neutral. So you're going to breathe out to tilt. And breathe in to neutral. You're going to breathe out to tilt. And breathe in to neutral. Good. Breathing out to tilt. And breathing into neutral. And one more time, breathing out to tilt. And breathing in, coming back to that neutral position. So now we're going to take it up to the next stage, which is called the pelvic curl. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out to draw the tummy muscles in, tilting the pelvis towards you as you did before. But this time, you're going to press into your feet and start to lift the pelvis up in the air. So you can see I'm lifting right up, pushing through the glutes from the hamstrings. And you're going to take a deep breath in at the top. And then as you breathe out, you're going to relax through the chest and you're going to come down through the spine. So you're trying to come down one vertebra at a time, yeah? So we're really working all the areas of the spine. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna breathe out as you tilt. And then we're gonna take the pelvis up. You're gonna inhale there at the top. And then you're gonna exhale, relaxing through the chest, coming down through the spine. So this is a lovely exercise. I love this one, I call it my medicine exercise because I feel if I do this every day it just makes my spine feel really good back feel relaxed so we're going to go all the way up we're going to take a deep breath in and then you're going to breathe out so you're relaxing here through the rib cage sinking down drawing the tummy muscles in and then slowly 
coming down through the spine. So let's deep breath in and breathing out to tilt, rolling the spine all the way up. So we're pushing up through the hips, inhale there at the top, and then you're going to exhale to relax through the chest, coming down through the spine. So lots of people always try and rush this exercise. Really important not to rush. Yeah, there's no hurry. It's not a race. It's all about just making your spine feel better, feeling more comfortable in your own skin. So take a deep breath in. Breathing out, relaxing through the chest. Coming down through the spine. And I think we'll do just two more. So you're going to inhale. Exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, tilt the pelvis. And rolling the spine up. Inhale there. Exhale. To come back down. And last one, deep breath in. Breathing out, tilting the pelvis. And lifting it all the way up. That's it. And then inhale there. Exhale, relaxing through the chest. Coming down through the spine. And back to your neutral position. Well done. So we've got that neutral position, hip bones, pubic bone in line. Now we're going to take the hands out to the side. And we're going to... Bring our feet together. So this is beginners. So we're going to start with the feet down, feet and knees together. And then what you're going to do is keeping those knees together, you're going to breathe in. You're going to let them go over to the right-hand side. Okay, so you're letting your left shoulder blade lift. You're going to get a nice stretch through your lower back. Then you're going to breathe out to pull the tummy muscles in to come back to the center. Then we're going to go the other way. So we're going to breathe in. Taking the knees over to the left-hand side, breathing out to draw the tummy muscles in and back to the center. So you're going to inhale as you go over. You've got to be really careful you don't let the ribs flare. So you keep your ribs down when you do this. And then you're going to exhale back to the center. Other way, we're going to inhale as you go over and exhale as you come back. So breathing in as you go over. You might feel the stretch of the side. You might also feel it around your lower back. That's absolutely fine. You're going to exhale, pull the tummy in to come back to the center. Breathing in as you go over. Breathing out to come back. And once more each side, you're going to inhale as you go over. Exhale to come back. And inhale over. Exhale. All the way back. Now we're going to separate those feet. You want them about hip width apart. You're going to find the neutral position. Now do you remember where the neutral position was? Hip bones, pubic bone, all on the same level. Yeah, so you can be able to slip your hand underneath your back. You've got a little gap there. All right, so on to the next exercise. You're going to take the hands up behind the head. You're going to interlace the fingers. Okay, I'm going to open those elbows up. Now we're going to try and keep in the neutral position. All right, so from here, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to breathe out. You're going to draw the tummy in. You're going to try and stay neutral. You're going to lift your head up to look at the knees. So hopefully, if you're looking here, you can see that nothing has changed in my pelvis. It's still level. Yeah, then you're going to take a deep breath in, and you're going to breathe out to come back down. Now, I know everybody likes flat abdominals, so this is a really good way to get them. Yes, yeah, to really focus on staying in neutral the whole time. It really will work you quite hard. So you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out, pull the tummy muscles in, and lift up. Inhale to hold and exhale to come back down. Now, I probably do this exercise 40 times a day and it still makes me shake. You're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out to lift up. Inhale there and exhale to come back down. Deep breath in and exhale to lift. 
Inhale there. And exhale to come back down. We're going to do four more. Deep breath in. Exhale to lift. Keeping that pelvis nice and still. So you really got to concentrate when you do these exercises. Inhale. Exhale, you're pulling the belly button in. We're lifting up to look at the knees. Inhale. Exhale to come back down. I think we have two left. Deep breath in. Breathe out to lift. Inhale there. Exhale to lower. And last one. Deep breath in. Breathing out to lift. Inhale there. And exhale to lower back down. Well done. Good. So that is the first of your beginner's Pilates classes. Okay, so what I'd love you to do is to play this one again and keep working on those exercises. The more familiar you get with them, the better it's going to be. And then if you like it, you can point a little, uh, little click on the like button. That'd be great. And if you want to carry on, I'm going to have another follow-up to this straight afterwards. It'll take you on to the next part of the class. So I'll see you soon.